one question that will always keep you in double minds is whether to spend premium money on cables or can you settle in for something which is cheaper well when i say cheaper it does not have to be something which is far off cheapest online but we are also talking about some of the cheaper cables and how big is the difference between a premium hdmi cable and the cheaper versions of it now in front of me i have got six hdmi cables starting from these which are rmc cables to profi gold as well as to the premium audio quest range as well now we are going to compare all of these cables side by side to find out the major difference between these cables and what is it that you try to get when you spend high amount of money on these cables versus what is it that you get when you spend on these kind of cheaper cables so let's find it out and before we begin don't forget to hit the subscribe button HDMI cables comes in various shapes sizes as well as connectors for instance in front of me i have got some cables which are HDMI 2.0 version while some of them are 2.1 version cables some of them are 2.1 but they support only 18 gbps while others are supporting up to 48 gbps now all of these differences matter when you connect it between two devices and that's why reading the specifications of your devices is extremely important while selecting hdmi cable now while we do this comparison test we are going to connect all of these cables to a nvidia shield tv pro as the source and the output is the four movie theater projector i know many of you would have their own reservations that you may use various lengths of cables and that would give a little bit of differences in the screen but that is not what we are going to do we have got all the cables which are 1.5 meters except for profi gold which comes in 2 meters so the distances and the lengths of all these cables in front of me are same so that we can do a more logical comparison and come to a conclusion whether the cheaper ones can really perform better or do i have to necessarily spend on these premium cables let's find out now we'll start with the regular ones so this is an indian brand rmc which is importing cables from china and taiwan and the first one that we are going to check is the hdmi 2.0 version cable and it comes in a normal plastic box 1.5 meter length the model number is m02 now i'm sure you will have this thought in your mind that if it's cheap it won't work nice but let's find out the next cable that we have is the hdmi 2.1 version from the same brand now this time around it is a 48 gbps compatible cable compared to the 18 gbps that we checked earlier we have also got the audio quest 18 gbps cable which is called blueberry cable now if you are into high end av gear you will always know this brand and the history and the credibility that it carries on its name now let's try profi gold 48 gbps 2.1 version cable this is a very very well recognized name again in the industry and this cable has got 24k gold plated connectors So let's see if these gold connectors really add some gold into your picture clarity as well. And finally, we have also got the AudioQuest Pearl 48, which uses copper connectors, and the Forest 48, which uses silver connectors. Both are 48 Gbps and are of the same 1.5 meter again in length. Now, when you watch these cables one after the other, I am sure that you will not find a vast differences. But when you do the comparison side by side, that is when you will start seeing. small small differences between each of these cables now none of the settings in the input as well as output devices were changed while shooting this so the settings are same but the output quality would differ when you try to compare them side by side now those thinking that chinese cables are cheaper and they must be the ones which are bad but guess what the profi gold as well as audio quest cables are also made in china they might be engineered in usa but the manufacturing is still happening in china so all of these cables are actually originated from china itself you will notice in this comparison that the image sharpness color accuracy and saturation differ from each other so it's very shocking that all of these hdmi cables almost perform to the same level except for some minor differences which have got to do with the picture quality signal stability as well as the cable build quality Now let's come to the most important question which cable should you really buy 
well when i have to pitch cables to my customer some of the questions that i keep asking first one is that what kind of devices are you connecting these cables to because your devices are going to determine which cable should you use should you go for a premium one should you go for a a regular one what is it that you should go for for instance if you are putting in a normal full hd projector then yes you can settle in for a regular hdmi 2.0 version cable similarly if you are looking to connect it to the newest or the latest lg oleds or the sony bravia 8 and 9s well i don't want to compromise on the output quality and i would want to have a good quality hdmi 2.1 version cable which can be from profigold or from audioquest similarly the next question that i would ask is what is the distance of the length of the cable was more the length distance more better the quality of the cable should be so that it will not have any losses in the output quality and the last question that you need to ask yourself is that whether your devices require hdmi 2.1 as a standard compatibility for instance if you are shopping for ps5 or apple tv nowadays they recommend you to connect hdmi 2.1 version cables to the output devices and that is where i would want to go again for the premium ones so if you want your setups to be more premium and they want to shine up don't settle in for a cheaper cables but at the same time if you want to compromise on the overall system or you want to not spend very very high then you can opt for the regular hdmi cables if that answers your question then hit the like button right now and for more such amazing videos on hdmi cables av gear in the hi-fi industry don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's it from mind i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya we'll see you again in the next video thank you so much